In StreamVim, you can do measurements in the 3D view. This is as supplementary to whatever you drew, well, measurements you tagged in your 2D drawings, etc. So it's meant for supporting the production stage on, uh, or phase on, on site. Uh, the measurement tools are in the lower left corner of your screen and uh, I'm going to measure the installation height of this fire alarm device. So then I placed the cross in between the objects I want to measure. In this case you see it doesn't go all the way down to the floor so I'm going to hit the down arrow. It means that it passes this um, say obstacle in the view. Uh, it's still not quite on the floor just keep hitting uh, the arrows to get the measurement you want. Uh, as you can see here, 95 centimeters uh, above uh, the floor. Uh, we measure four things, horizontal, vertical, the normal vector, which will just keep shooting until it hits something on the other end, in this case a wall, and the fourth thing it measures is a set value, which is the height above sea level. Obviously this means that your model needs to be uh, at the correct location, or at least on the right uh, height, uh, depending on you know, where you put your origin. Um, you can also do a measurement in a sectioning, or in a clip plane, so I'm gonna open the sectioning tool. I'm going to hit this wall and create a section there. Uh, so it works the same way basically, except it measures in the clip plane instead of on a object. So if I measure here on the room, it will give me height and width of this room. So 240, 270. And it also does identify circular objects. So if I measure inside a duct, it will identify the center point of that duct. And then measure right, left, uh, up and down from center points. So 18 centimeters up, uh, 15 centimeters to the right, and down to the ceiling, uh, suspended ceiling. So if I want to measure all the way down to the floor slab, um, hit the arrow down and you got the measurement. Well in this case to a wheelchair below in the sectioning. Anyway, uh, the point is that you can just keep going in whatever direction you, you, you want to go. Works the same way in horizontal cut planes. Gonna add another one, just tapping this floor slab. And then I gonna measure the room here. So the height width of this room, just hit within it um, and it will measure all the way until it hits something. Works the same way with ducts here of course. Hit within it and it will measure from center point.